Okay, so Kiwi Guy here again. Today, talking about live wallpapers. But before I get into that, I'll talk about my kernel, ROM, and the launcher I am running today. Stay tuned. The launcher I'm running is Apex Launcher. It's not the Pro version, however I will undoubtedly be purchasing the Pro version as um, I think it runs really well on ice cream sandwich, nice and smooth. So, let's just quickly look at my phone settings and see what I'm running as far as ROMs and kernels are concerned. Okay, I'm running Franco kernel 3.0.15 and I'm running King Droid Ice Cream Sandwich Note Mania Edition Vision 2. Um, this is the S3 version, so it has uh, it does have S Pen functionality. It also has S Voice, um, which works okay, just like Siri or Iris. Okay, so let's just take a look at the app drawer. Um, this ROM comes with Google Chrome Beta and Flipboard. Both don't seem to work too well, to be honest. Um, I'd probably I'd probably stick with the stock Ice Cream Sandwich uh, browser. I, I do like some of the features of Google Chrome. Um, I'm using LCD modifier to change my DPI. 320 looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so with the Kingdroid version of this ROM, S Pen works fine. Um, S Memo works works really really well, but X, S Note, that's the premium version that comes with Samsung's version of Ice Cream Sandwich, does not work with this ROM. Okay, let's move on now. I use a go locker called uh, Metro UI. Now, um, I've tweaked it a little bit, changed the setting that allows me to use custom wallpaper, so it hasn't got the default blue background. It has my live wallpaper. Looks a little bit cleaner, I think. Um, I've already done a review on this, so I'm just going to skip ahead to um, all the live wallpapers I have on my device. The one I had on screen is called Bubbles. There's uh, no options, but um, I think maybe changing the color could be pretty cool. But blue, as I said, I quite like it on my white Galaxy Note. It's a nice contrast. This one is called ICS Phase Beam. You can change the color. You also have options for the full version. Um, to get additional themes and settings for this live wallpaper. You can change the frame per second and the scrolling rate. Okay, so the next live wallpaper I use quite often is called Neon Microsm Free. This is a free version. Um, this is on the slower setting. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's, I guess, it's like going through your blood cells or a, an artery, showing blue blood cells instead of red. Now you could change these colours, so, but blue is my colour. You can also speed up the rate in which you go through the um, artery. However, I'll show you medium and it's a bit full on. Um, fast, I think you'd just blow your mind. <laughs> be a bit too much to see your apps in the background and your widgets. So, slow would be the best one to use in my opinion. Okay, so the next live wallpaper I'm talking about is called a liquid cloud full. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite a nice one. Um, one of my favourites. 
you this is the full version so you can choose the themes they have available to to apply to your device um, you can also choose up to three different categories of colors so and up to a total of six colors okay so the next live, live wallpaper I have to show is called mystic halo live wallpaper this is one I keep going back to um, it's nice and simple fades in and out you can change a lot of settings on this you can change the fade screen from just in and out like I had before to um, heartbeat you see the pulse right You can change the brightness, you can change the fade settings, you can um, make the center stay there and the center glow, like you see here. This live wallpaper has a huge amount of customization. Um, I can't really go into everything that it has, so download it and have a look. A couple of things I'll touch on. Um, the speed and rotation style, you can have them go in alternate directions all in the same way. Um, the next one I'll, I'll talk about is the speed. You can set it spin faster. You can enable touch effects, so when you touch the screen it'll, it'll uh, change direction. You can set the position, vertical and horizontal where it appears, so it can go smack in the middle if you want it to be. I like it, it's a little bit offset. Just to go around my icons, you can see on the screen now. Okay, just going to quickly talk about the icons you can see on the home page. Um, let's just, you know, <laughs> just go back to the home page. Okay, so the first one on the top left corner, you can see it's called Clock Q. Uh, you can change the color, you can change the uh, rotation. It's 360 will be straight, horizontal. Um, once a little bit off, 333 or something, I guess. Um, also, battery info shows you your battery status. Um, there's also your temperature and, and uh, your SD card, how full it is. I, I like to know what my device is doing. Um, temperature is important, especially if you're overclocking. Uh, just below that widget is S Voice from the Samsung Galaxy S3 that uh, is included with this ROM. Alright, so I think that'll do it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Live wallpapers. Kiwi guy out.